how to SFTP with Cyberduck. Cyberduck is a free application for both Windows and Mac. Um, you can get it at cyberduck.ch. It's a simple little application, but to do um, FTP and SFTP. So here you can select the protocol you're using. SFTP is what a lot of shared hosting accounts would use. FTPS is um, FTP with a secure socket layer on it. And then FSFTP is a SSH for um, doing like shell, like the same way you would do a you would connect with your uh, terminal to um, put commands into the server. So you're gonna put your server address into here. Then you're gonna put your um, username into there. You're gonna put your password into there, and then you hit you click OK to connect. Then it will authenticate, and then it'll start out in root, but you can go down to uh, here. And you'll go down to var www. This is the web server, so I can refresh, and it has the default whatever the default. Let me get that off the desktop. It has the default um it works page. So I could download that to my computer if I wanted to by drop dragging it to the desktop. Then I can use the, hit the delete button on my keyboard and delete the file off the uh, server. I can also upload a file by dragging into it. You just navigate like this. See. It's pretty much an interface to um, access the file system on a remote server. It's pretty simple, but yeah, that's basically how you use it. And other clients are also um, very similar, like FileZilla, for example. Here you can do yeah. See, so you would. Then you gotta type in the port for 22 if it's SFTP, and then you do quick connect. Or you can also, and it, it does this also. Cyberduck will do the same thing, but I already connected using Cyberduck before. It'll ask you, um, it'll say the host is unknown, but since I haven't connected to it, well, it's already unknown to the computer. So once I re once I connect, I'll trust this host. I'll add it to the cache. I'll, I'll know it will be it. But it basically is to Say maybe somebody set up a different server at that address, it's just so you can know that you're connecting to the same server. But this one will go to root too, but this one shows hidden stuff which uh, Cyberduck didn't show. Except on here, it doesn't seem to like it wants to drop and drag. On Windows, I know you can drop and drag. Like I couldn't drag this folder onto the desktop. It doesn't seem it won't let me. It doesn't seem yeah. But on Windows, this client will let you do it. So you can you know go to var www. If it doesn't let you do it, um, you can basically download or right click to upload over here. You just have to get this to the right part in your file system. So you'd click that and you can explore your um, file system. Also, you can also save your site. So you can go to new. So, uh, yeah. And here you don't really have to put the port in. This one you can do root. This one you can do the same thing too. And you can also do tabs too, which is useful if you're connecting to other sites. So, like multiple sites, maybe you need to copy something from another site and then upload to the other one or something like that. So, that's basically the basics on how to use F SFTP. And it also the same applies for regular FTP. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please rate and subscribe and comment. Thanks.